Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to print on different size sheets on your Epson F570 sublimation printer. So if you're like me, I typically print off the roll, but you don't always need to. And so this printer is great because it allows you to also uh, sheet feed. And so I wanna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. You're also gonna to wanna to grab this piece if you haven't installed it when you set up your printer, you're gonna need it. This is um, very important. We're gonna be putting it you know, inside right in front of where the roll is. So let's move over here a little bit closer to the printer so you can see exactly what's happening. And then I will show you how you can print on sheets. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is open up the uh, main menu screen here and you are you need to first tell it, your printer, what you're doing. So if you go into paper settings, you wanna use either cut sheets or auto sheet feeds, right? So if you click um, auto sheet feeder, it is literally going to tell you exactly how to set this up. This is what I love about the Epson F570. It could not be easier to do different things because it gives you the exact steps. And if you do it wrong, it's gonna tell you, you did that wrong, close that back up. This is what you need to do. So let's follow exactly the instructions here. So what it's telling us to do um, is to open up this where the uh, sheet cover is, okay? So right now, we have it opened up. This is where your roll is back here. You're used to having your roll back there. Now, if we advance the screen, it's going to tell us to lay and slide out the paper support. So that's this. We don't have it installed yet. But if you look, it has these two little ends here. Those are what is going to go inside of here. And you want this blue piece to be facing towards you. Okay, and it just pops right in. Okay, and you can actually keep this in here. And then what you're gonna do is you need to extend it. So that's where the paper is going to go, okay? And then if we advance it one more time, it's going to tell us that we have these printable, that, that the paper needs to go in print side, um, print side facing front. So I'm just gonna take a stack of paper here. I'm using this swing design sublimation paper and I'm gonna put it right in the middle, okay? I'm just gonna put it right in there. You've got these two blue paper supports. You're gonna pull them, push them, push one of them, and it'll naturally bring the other one in at the same time, okay? And that is literally all you need to do in order to use the sheet feeder. Now, what you're gonna need to do then on the software side of things is to let your printer know that you are using sheets instead of the rolls. And you do that when you go to print. So now when I go to print, I'm just going to tell it that I am printing off an eight and a half by 11 sheet instead of the roll. It's gonna, it's gonna automatically detect that it is printed sheet fed. And that's how you are going to print on this 24 inch printer on an eight and a half by 11. And again, you can use 11 by 17, you can use legal letter, all these different sizes because you have the ability to sheet feed with that little attachment and also because those um, adjustment bars are there, it gives you a lot of flexibility. If you guys are looking for more videos on your F1, uh, F170 or your Epson F570, the, the big Epson sublimation printer, desktop printer that's 24 inches, I've got lots of video, videos on those which I will link to here at the end. And of course, if you need extra help, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help, uh, exclusive content, those different types of things along with additional benefits, make sure you check out Silhouette You.